This video is intended for use by patients to help visualize the setup and movements needed for a virtual foot and ankle physical exam. There are two main camera setups we will be using during the exam. The first involves a seated position, preferably on a high stool with the camera at roughly shin level. The second involves standing with space to walk, again with the camera around shin level. In the first part of the exam, the clinician will analyze your gait during walking. You will need space to take at least four steps away from the camera before turning and walking back. You will then be asked to walk on your toes and heels as best you can. Make sure that your legs are visible to the camera during walking. Next, the clinician will assess your foot and ankle alignment. You will need to stand facing away from the camera for this. Then, hold the camera over your feet so that they are visible from above. The clinician will ask you to point to any parts of your foot or ankle that are particularly tender or painful. Make sure the relevant spot is visible to the camera while you are pointing. The clinician will want to assess the integrity of the skin on both sides of your feet. You will again need to provide a top-down view and a shot of the bottom of your foot, which can be done while seated. The clinician will examine the range of motion of your ankle in two directions. A seated side view will be needed for the first exercise, in which you will point and pull back your toes as far as possible with a bent knee. Then repeat this motion, but use your hand to help move the foot. Finally, repeat the motion again with a straightened knee to assess for calf tightness. This time do not use your hand. The next motion will be a side to side one. Move the camera back to shin level and sit facing it. Move your ankle side to side as shown as far as possible in each direction. Then repeat while using your hand to guide the motion. The following strength tests require the help of a partner. These should be done while seated with your feet and ankles visible on camera. First, the partner should place their hands on the bottom of each of your feet and resist while you attempt to press your feet down as if you are pushing the gas pedal. Then your partner will place their hands on the top of your feet and resist as you pull your feet up in the other direction. Next, we will look at your big toe strength. Your partner will place their hands on top of your big toes and resist as you attempt to pull your toes towards your shins. Finally, we will assess your foot eversion and inversion strength. Your partner will place their hands on the outside of each foot and you will resist as they push inwards on both feet. Then they will move their hands to the inside and you will resist as they push outwards on both feet. Next, we will examine your foot's circulation. With the camera positioned so that your toes are visible, press your big toenail until it turns white. Then release and allow it to turn pink again while keeping it visible on camera. Do the same thing with two fingers, this time on your shin just above your ankle. Make sure this too is captured on camera. Next, squeeze your calf and monitor whether or not this causes you any pain. Finally, use a belt or strap to pull up on your ankle as if stretching your calf. Does this cause you pain? Orient the camera so that the clinician can see your leg. Lastly, the clinician will lead you through a neuromuscular assessment to check for numbness, tingling, or discomfort. We will test sensation in a few specific places. First, gently touch the top of both feet and indicate whether you feel numbness, tingling, or pain. Repeat in the space between your big toe and second toe, then on the bottom of your feet and the sides of your feet, and finally on the inside of the calves. The rest of this video covers condition-specific tests that may or may not be relevant to you. Patients with suspected flat foot will be asked to perform heel raises. Place the camera back at shin level and face away from it. 
Perform heel raises with both legs, then on each leg separately. You may hold something for balance. Patients with a possible cavo varus deformity will be asked to stand on a book or magazine, with the ball of your big toe hanging over the edge. The camera should again be positioned so the clinician can see the back of your lower leg. Patients with big toe arthritis will be asked to demonstrate their range of motion. While seated, position the camera so that your foot is visible from the side and bend your big toe back and forth through its full range of motion. Then repeat with the help of your hand to guide the motion. Describe any sensations of pain, clicking, or grinding that may occur while doing this. The last test is for a suspected Achilles rupture. You will need a partner for this test. Lie on a couch or bed with your feet dangling in the air. Position the camera so that your lower legs and feet are visible. With your muscles totally relaxed, your partner will squeeze and release your calves. That concludes our foot and ankle virtual exam. Thank you for watching.